Greetings and welcome to the sports card ripping teacher. What a weekend, I guess. It definitely ended on a high note with my wife's birthday. Uh, the Cubs actually won yesterday when we went out to eat for my wife's birthday. Got some ice cream, uh, movie, and uh, it was a great day. But boy, oh boy, let's go backwards. Friday, things did not go well for the green and gold of Green Bay, Wisconsin. I do believe, you know, on the bright side, Jordan Love did escape serious injury. I think he'll be out for three to four weeks. And my philosophy is, hey, everyone gets paid. Malik Willis, gets paid as well. Now, I would love to see the Packers ground and pound the ball, but without A.J. Dillon, I don't know if that's going to be possible. So, I feel like any coach, when you get that backup quarterback in there, you're already game planning in case they have to go in there. So, I don't think Matt LaFleur is starting from step one. Notre Dame, I mean, I don't got a lot of clothes, folks. I mean, I got to wear my Notre Dame stuff today. I still bleed green. Blue, gold, whatever it is, but that was your classic case. The Fighting Irish Notre Dame were not prepared to play the football game. They came off a huge road win, and I feel like going back to that Marshall game from two years ago, Marcus Freeman did not have his troops ready to go. Notre Dame marched down the field, they scored a touchdown, and kind of got out of the groove. And football, once you get out of that mentality, it's hard to get back in. And the Northern coach, hearing him after the game, he was telling his players the right stuff all week long. He said, hey, we don't need one. We just need to play our game. We don't need a prayer. We can do it. Motivation, head coaching, that was the difference. Shout out to all the kids. Hopefully they enjoyed that I don't think I could have kept it up for the rest of the video, folks. But uh, let's get into this week's lesson plan. I will be doing the home run challenge here in a little bit. We're going to open up some of the uh, the hot products, according to me, uh, Topps Composite Football and Topps Platinum, my favorite product from the 2023 baseball season. On Tuesday, we got a huge mail day. You're not going to want to miss the mail day on Tuesday, folks. Wednesday, we're back to composite football, platinum, maybe some score a treat. Hey, score a treat, that's hot as well. It's fun to see kids opening packs, putting them in binders, collecting sets the way it should be. So Panini, job well done with score a treat. Uh, Thursday, the Fantasy Rip League. I'm going to see where I stand after today and which product that I go with. But uh, that'll be Thursday. I'll have some extra packs on hand in case I need it. And on Friday, we will go downtown hunting. All right, class is in session. Today is Monday, September 9th, lesson 18. Shout out to Peyton Manning. And uh, in 1877, Frank Chance was born, first baseman for the Chicago Cubs way back then. And at Wrigley yesterday, some of my coworkers, you know, we always have really good sports discussions after we got done talking about Notre Dame, of course, because they just wanted to know what, what did I think. But we started talking about, you know, make your starting lineup for your favorite baseball team. And then we went to, well, make a 25-man roster first and then get into that starting lineup. So we had a pretty good conversation. You know, first baseman, Frank Chance, uh, Derek Lee, Anthony Rizzo, Ernie Banks in there. He could be a shortstop also as well, but just good stuff. And back in 1987, Larry Bird, he started his uh, consecutive streak of 59 free throws made in a row and I had some stats pulled up here do I still have them but when I watch the younger generation shoot free throws these days it's where a lot of games are really lost and Graham he's kind of just above a 60 percent 60 percent free throw shooter which is kind of high for these days unfortunately he seems to always miss the first and make the second when he doesn't uh, make both of them. But um, I see a lot of kids, they shoot bricks all the time. So I'm going back to uh, Mike Williams. Uh, most free throws made in a row, 97. Dirk Nowitzki made 24 in a row in one game. And the Heat made 40 consecutive free throws in a game. Hey, you got to shoot your free throws. When I was coaching basketball, man, we spent a lot of time doing that. All right, so this is this week. Oh, we went through a lesson plan already. Let's do the home run challenge here first. So these people faded me. Jazz Chisholm was, it was not good. Uh, really, Cubs pitching was pretty good all weekend long. I think they lost 3 0, 2 2 0, and then they won 2 to 1. You know, the big guys were pounding the ball into the ground a lot, but uh, pick six cards. You were right, buddy. You're going into the hopper here. Grizzos cards, the, uh, you know, city of Cincinnati, they're getting back to me. I filled all the proper paperwork, let them know about, uh, you know, Ellie Dela Cruz for last week. And, you know, pro probably nothing would happen. These big cities, you get in government stuff and nothing happens. And uh, Adam's card closet, he was correct as well. You're going in there. Now for this week, I've got two cards here, actually playing both of these. And I am going to play uh, Freddie Freeman on Sunday. Now, it's Sunday Night Baseball. He's going to be playing. You know, they're in that top record uh, chase uh, with the Phillies, so they've they've got to win. And they are playing the Cubs this week, 
But on Sunday, big game Charlie Morton, who Freddie Freeman is 11 for 23. He's got four doubles and three home runs. So that's just below a 500 uh, batting average. So let me know. Are you going to play me or fade me? There's a catch. I'm saying there's going to be two home runs on Sunday. Now, I'm adding Mookie Betts in there. So if you're going to play me or fade me, you are going to say yes, Freddie Freeman and Mookie Betts are going to hit a home run on Sunday. If you're going to fade me, you're saying no. Both of them will not be hitting a home run. So this week's prize is I'm going to toss in one of those sports card ripping teacher tumblers. That is going to be the thing that goes into the prize um, stack for this week. And really, I want to get as many people in there as possible. So it's probably an easy fade, unless you think I know what I'm doing. All right, here we go, folks. First up, some haunted hoops. Uh, Graham found these at uh, Costco on Friday, and him and I, we split um, a package of them. LaMelo Ball, and like right away, he started putting the set together. Tim Hardaway Jr., Jared Allen, and he got zero of the hollows in his uh, grouping. And obviously, I got none right there. So uh, he said he has seen people get two to three hollows per bundle. So I'm due a few hollows in my bundle as well. Shout out to Mr. 95 Cents. Uh, you know, his Yankees came out on top over the weekend. Uh, no numbered card here today. Ozzie Smith. Kind of like what Grizzle said this morning. Too many Cardinals. Moreno, Tanner Beebe, and Tim Anderson. All right, composite football. Man, I'm still in shock getting that C.J. Stroud RPA. And they say... Well, I mean, how in the world did you get that? You're not an influencer. I am an influencer, you know, influencing those young minds every day. Definitely not a card influencer. But, hey, Will Levis, they had their chances. Bear, the Bears won yesterday. So people asked, did the Bears winning make it better or worse? Eh, whatever. I always try to stay out of Bear business. Dante Culpepper. It's more Vikings that are kind of, you know, uh, the one that I'm more against because usually they're better in the standings with the Green Bay Packers. Deuce McAllister. We got a Bryce Young. They did not do very well yesterday, to be honest with you. They just did not. Keenan McCardell. And his number there, okay, so we got a, is that a 50, sorry, 53 out of 74, Keenan McCardell. Oh, very, very cool. A little die cut there. Jim McMahon, you know, I, I had Zach and Porter. They uh, checked on me Saturday. And honestly, I, I took Riggins for a long walk. And then we watched some survival show that was on Netflix. I was kind of just done watching football for uh, the weekend. But shout out to the Punky QB. Kurt Warner, another Packer uh, backup. Chad Ochocinco. And Michael Vick. Classes dismissed.